What is going on, you back of slags? Hope you all had a good weekend. Joker here coming at you. We've got some tech and PC, actually just all PC gaming news, really. First up, we're going to be talking about The Last of Us Part 1, and if your PC can run it. We've got some updated system requirements for this. So there were some published on, like, Friday. Pretty taxing requirements for some of them, not going to lie. But we've got some, they've made some alterations to it, and also we've discovered who's working on the PC port Iron Galaxy. More on that, as well as Cyberpunk 2077 finally getting its HD reworked project mod released by Hulk Hogan, who worked on the very same named mod for The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, which was one of the best graphical mods, if not the best graphical mods and complete overhauls you could get for that game. So let's get into it. But first, today's video is brought to you by SuperCDK.com, where you could save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro licenses for just $22, and then you can unlock the prestigious Dark Mode for Windows 10, which I honestly could not live without. It is blinding without the dark mode you guys needed in your life. And now you can also save an additional 25% off at checkout by clicking buy now on any software products over there. Just go ahead and add it into your cart and put in my code JP25 at checkout and apply and that'll bring our price from $22.44 all the way down to $16.83, a savings of over $5. And I'll walk you through how to get your key and install it on Windows 10, go ahead and click Submit Order and complete your checkout from there. For me, that's going to be with PayPal, and then click on Pay Now. After completing the checkout, it'll bring you to your purchased order page, and it will update in a matter of seconds, or just go ahead and hit F5. Go ahead and do that one time. It came through literally immediately. I got the payment email that it had gone through and the delivery of the product exactly at the same time. Once you're done with that, go ahead and click on view keys and codes and we'll get our code right here that we can go ahead and copy and paste in on Windows 10 by hitting the start button and typing the word activate. When you see that activation settings or see if Windows is activated, go ahead and click on that and it'll bring up this right here and click on change your product key or unlock Windows 10 as I already have Windows 10. I obviously don't need to put in a new key, but just paste it in and then go ahead and click next and you are all done and set. For more information on supercdk.com as well as the coupon code, be sure to check out the links down in the description below. So first up, let's start out with The Last of Us Part 1, which will finally be making its way to the PC later this month on March 28th. It was highly controversial when they did this remake for the PS5, but for us on PC, you know, for a lot of PC gamers, they have never had a chance to play this game if they didn't have a PS3, PS4, or PS5 to be able to play the original, the remaster, or the remake. So now we just get the best version here on the PC, you know, 10 plus years later, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers sometimes, so... We're getting The Last of Us Part 1 Remake PC on the 28th, and we have got some system requirements and also an update to it that it's going to be worked on by Iron Galaxy. If you remember them, they worked recently on the Uncharted PC port, so both Naughty Dog games kind of makes sense. They did a pretty good job with Uncharted. It wasn't perfect. It had some mouse movement issues when it came out, which they patched, but then in some of the patches they introduced some stutter. So it wasn't a perfect PC port, but it was pretty solid. Not too many complaints, still very, very playable. So hopefully they learned some from some of the mistakes on that to make The Last of Us Part 1 a better PC port. As they have shown in the past, they, have, they can learn from their mistakes, as they were also the PC port people behind Batman Arkham Knight, one of the worst ports of all time. So let's take a look at these system requirements and just a quick note on some things that were changed since friday till today um on the recommended they had changed the 5800 xt for amd down to a 5700 xt and on ultra they went from a 7900 xt to a 7900 xtx so thank you for uh dsog and john papadopoulos for pointing that out over on his article which will be linked with the sources down below so these are the system requirements some people are saying they're quite quite hefty and i would agree if you're going for the 60 fps 4k ultra and all that which will i'm sure feature ray tracing and everything but for the minimum recommended it's i don't think it's too too bad honestly um minimum is for 30 fps at 720p like honestly who is playing at that we'll quickly gloss gloss over it 1500x ryzen 5 or a 4770k RX 470 for AMD or 6500 XT GPU, both 4 gigabyte graphics cards. Uh, oh, that's both for AMD, sorry. And then on the NVIDIA side, a GTX 970 
or a 1050 Ti. It's interesting that they call the 970 a 4 gigabyte. As everyone knows, it's 3.5 gigabytes. Am I right? And then for the OS, Windows 10 64-bit or newer on version 1909 or newer. And a 100 gigabyte SSD, and these do not change uh, throughout the system requirements. The system memory does jump up with the perform at the performance and ultra settings to 32 gigabytes. For our minimum recommended, though, it's at 16. So that's nice. The recommended, as usual, targets 60 FPS at 1080p with high settings. And they suggest here a 3600X Ryzen 5 or an 8700 from Intel. Not too bad. few generations behind should still be able to handle this game at 1080p. And for the GPUs, they say a 5700 XT or a 6600 XT for AMD. And for NVIDIA, a 2070 Super or an RTX 3060, both 8GB cards. And uh, it's actually nice that they include more than one generation of cards here for each side. Like, it's not just, oh, one AMD card and one NVIDIA card. Like, they've included multiple options as, you know, these two cards are generationally apart, but they're comparable in terms of their performance between the generations. Moving up to the higher available settings here, they, they just cut it down to 1v1, I guess. Um, but on the performance side, for 60 FPS at 1440 on high, a 5600X or 9700K. For the GPU, a 6750 XT or a 2080 Ti. And again, that jumps it up to 32 gigabytes they're suggesting there for 1440 high settings. And then for Ultra, this is where it really takes a big leap forward here for 4K, 60 FPS. And the only one that mentions Ultra preset settings so that might not actually include ray tracing if that's not included with the ultra preset we just don't know um but for the cpu ryzen 9 5900x or a 12600k whew, gpu a 7900 xtx or an rtx 4080 so make no doubt about it folks if you're looking to push this game 4k maxed out you better have my pc pretty much just have my pc with a 4090 or a 4080 either one but you're gonna need a hefty hefty modern rig for 4k ultra and you know we'll wait and see once the game comes out in the 28th hopefully other things like you know dlss fsr whatever will be present maybe frame generation to sort of help smooth things out and hopefully iron galaxy does a good job with the port here for the last of us part one remake fingers crossed let's be optimistic about it Next up, for all of you PC gamers out there, Cyberpunk 2077. If you didn't think the game looked good enough or was hard enough to run, there is now something that will make your PC melt a little bit more. In fact, it's actually not, it, it's not that much more taxing, but you will need about another 800 megabytes or so of VRAM if you want to use the Ultra version of the HD reworked project from Mr. Hulk Hogan, not Hulk Hogan, not the WWE famed wrestler legend he that he is mr thunderlips himself no this is hulk hogan who worked on the witcher 3 hd reworked mod there you go there it is and uh so he is you know very well known in the modding community for making hands down the best graphical overhaul mod for the witcher 3 and has been working on mods for years for things like skyrim and other games so didn't really not expect him to do something for Cyberpunk 2077, and it is finally here with version 1.0, and I'm sure he'll continue to add to it and work on more textures throughout the game and continue to increase, um, you know, the resolutions and the detail in the, resolu the resolutions throughout the Cyberpunk game world. This is about a 700 uh, megabyte download for the ultra quality version, 477 megabytes for the eight regular version, I guess, uh, which only takes about 400 megabytes of VRAM. So if you're playing on like 1080p or lower, then I guess you can just go for the standard HD reworked project. But I doubt, I, I could imagine you probably wouldn't even see that much of a visual difference there if you're playing on a lower resolution display. But the uh, the big data here was the HD reworked project ultra quality one, which is the one I grabbed. That was 700 megabytes and that will use up to, up to maximum 800 megabytes more of VRAM than what the game already is using so if you're on a modern card you know 40 40 90 whatever or anything from amd really 12 plus gigabytes of vram you should be absolutely fine with that and it shouldn't make the game too much more taxing to run and it should improve your visuals overall as you'll be seeing in uh the trailer there from from uh, hulk hogan that he published there over on his youtube channel so that'll be linked as well down in the sources the one tab link for the sources if you want to go ahead and grab that mod over on nexus mods which is as easy as Pi to install, you just literally drag and drop the folder into your in where your game is installed, and that's it. It doesn't matter if you have GOG or Steam or a pirated copy like a dirty bastard. 
It's either way, installing it is exactly the same. You just drag and drop. Very, very easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Japanese. You get on your knees and please me. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Hope you all have a fantastic day. And I will catch you next time for another video. Peace.